you can probably hear the ducks all the way at the pond quacking. Of course, you can hear the cows moving. I wanted to show you guys something before I move the cows in this area. So, there is a grass that has already gone to seed. I don't know, don't know what kind of here it is. This grass right here. I'm not sure what kind of grass this is. I'll find out. Um, get back to you, but you can already see it's developing seeds in the head there. Um, not sure what that story is. Something's been munching on this grass here. Probably the sheep. Um, when they were in this area. They've been here for a week. They know what's going on. Anyway, the sheep have not only stayed in between the row boundaries, but they are still in the pen with the cows. Which normally they like to escape. So that's very interesting. Very interesting. I'm going to try to let the cows in a different way. I don't like them crossing the wire. Well, I don't know what this herb is. There's a lot of it. Let's see if the cows go for it. Let me grab another pigtail post. If I have one. I don't think I do have one. Oh well. So what I'm going to do is I am going to open this up first. Okay. And I'm out of hands already. <laughs> over here I think this is where it's supposed to go oh, there we go right here all right so put a pigtail post in grab this guy pull it tight oh no 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 Yep, get zapped. Get zapped, you who crossed the wire. Look at you. Get zapped. Get zapped. Zap you. That's right. Zap you. That's what you get for crossing my wire. You should be scared of my wires. My goodness, look at that swarm of cloud. It's a cloud of flies. Come on. Let's get going, 21. 21, for whatever reason, has always had a good condition, even in the worst of the drought, even when I didn't really know what I was doing, and look at that sun. Yeah, it's about 7 a.m. today. It's about 7 a.m. right now. Sun gets up about 6.30. So, look at those birds. Sitting on my wire. What are you doing to my wire, birds? Get off my wire. There's a really nice smell. I think it's that goat weed or something. Yeah, look at this. The birds get on the wire and they weigh it down. I don't know what kind of birds these are. And maybe they're eating, hopefully they're eating the flies. But I see these birds here every morning. They're on the ground. They're eating something. I don't know what they're eating. Oh, that sun. I was thinking about this this morning. I was talking with a friend. Um, when I was in living in the Pacific Northwest, uh, for eight months out of the year, we barely saw the sun at all. It was always cloudy and drizzling rain. And so uh, depression was just part of life. You just get used to it. And you can try to take vitamin D and different things like that, but there's nothing like sunlight and getting outdoors. But uh, down here, where we see the sun a lot... Oh, look, there's one of those white flowers. I don't know what that is. I still don't know. Down here, it uh, you get a lot of sun, especially if you get outdoors. And so I, I just don't find myself without energy to do things, if you know what I'm saying. So that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this is um, for my own health 
you know, physical health, mental health, emotional health, that kind of stuff. But coming out here every day, twice a day, looking at grass and, and cows, you know, feeling nature around you, outside of the air conditioner, you know, feeling what the weather is actually like, and listening to these cows chomp on grass. That's an experience and a half. Anyway, guys, I'll be signing off here. Take care. Bye-bye.